It's your time. It's his time. It's his time, man. It's time to shine. I know it's been a very, it's been like seven days, and I know that I say that so often, but I'm not even, I know I say that so often. Hold on, let me fix that. Y'all can see my bed. Not even made right here. I got to make my bed. I, I just went straight to the gym this morning. I didn't even make my bed, so it is what it is. I don't care. But, so, I woke up to something very interesting. It's crazy. It's crazy. Y'all see, so Kevin Durant pretty much is, it's, it's trade talks about him going to the Boston Celtics. I don't really, I have not really been paying too much attention to like the trade talks and all that, you know, because it just, I just haven't been, you know, I've been trying to focus on other stuff, but I saw this one today. So I had to speak on that one. So with that being said, Jalen Brown made a statement and y'all can see what Jalen Brown said. I know how to do magic. So. You can see what Jalen Brown said right here. Bro tweeted out saying, shaking my head. Because pretty much the trade talks is him, I think Marcus Smart, and somebody else for Kevin Durant. And I'm going to go ahead and, cause, and and chip in on this because I already did a video kind of like this before when I was talking about loyalty in the NBA. Yeah, I pretty much already talked about this. Y'all need to really like pay attention. Like When I say this, look, like really, really like pay attention to this and understand that this is the same player that these are the core guys that swept this Kevin Durant, right? Granted, Kevin Durant is better than all of them. Don't get me wrong, but it's Kevin Durant. It's KD. I'm not going to take away who KD is. But KD got swept by all these guys, right? And the fact that Jalen Brown, I'm just going to say talk about Jalen Brown for right now. The fact that I was on the team that helped sweep this dude, and I'm not no, I'm not a slouch. I'm a starter. Double digit score. play defense went toe to toe with the Warriors in the finals even though we lost I mean they did go up against an injured Bucks team I, you know I can't take that away but I, I can't give you know I gotta I gotta be honest but the fact that I'm even in this trade talk is disrespectful if I'm Jalen Brown but everybody want to talk about loyalty they the fact even if like let's say this trade don't even go does it even go down the fact that my name is even in this trade talk is disrespectful. I'm tripping off of that. It's like, bro, are you serious? But everybody want to talk about loyalty in the NBA. This is a player that was part of a team that swept this dude. What is up with Kevin Durant wanting to keep going with the teams that he that beat? I mean, I don't know because I saw it on Bleacher Report, like the, the official, like, you know what I mean? I don't know if it's true or not. I mean, because there's like, when you see stuff like on Ball Sack Sports on Twitter, we all know that's fake. Certain ones we just know is fake because of the page it comes from. But Bleacher Report and ESPN and them talking about this is like, bro, what? So if this is true, the fact that I'm, the fact that the Boston GM or management, whatever you want to call them, the fact that we had this team, right? We had Jason Taylor, Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, uh, Robert Williams, uh, what's the other light skinned dude name? Uh, I forget his name. The fact that we had all these core guys, uh, what's bro name? I keep forgetting his name. Y'all know who I'm talking about, light skin, like super light skinned dude. Got the got got a not got an eighties fro kind of who wears the headband. The fact that we the fact that we we took care of Boston in four games. I mean, we took care, we took care of the Brooklyn Nets in four games. Went toe to toe with the injured Bucks team. I got to be honest, it was an injured Bucks team. But hey, the Bucks were up two one. Nah, they were still an injured Bucks team. I got to be honest, I can't give them that. But let's just say, for the sake of argument, went who who wait, who was the person they played the second round? It's first round, second round, Eastern Conference and Finals. Who they played? It was Brooklyn. Oh, Miami. Been toe to toe with a good Miami team. And now you and now you even considering getting rid of this core group for Kevin Durant? But everybody want to talk about loyalty. If, if LeBron had called Jalen Brown, like, hey, you know, shooting guard, shoot, we, we got a shooting guard spot for you uh, right here in LA. You, you might not average 20. But you in a you in a better position to get over the hump than you are where you at now. And Jalen Brown took it. Everybody was like, "Man, look at him. He he he, he trying to just go play with Bron. He just trying to go join it, join a big superstar. Man, he trying to go join the best player in the league to win a ring." 
when his own team is the, it, the fact that his it, this trade doesn't even have to go down. The fact that his name is even in the trade talk is, is bro. I'm if I'm him, I'm tripped. Like bro, oh, but it's a it's a business now. It's been a business. It's only a business when the team is doing the the, the stuff, but when the players is doing it, it's a it's this loyalty. It's this stand third, and that's why I had a huge problem. Like I I respect Dame Lillard, love his game. All that. But I have a problem when players try to make it sound like try to say, like, you know, it's easy to go join. Like when when Giannis won the championship, what would he say at the podium? He said, you know, he said, that's my stubborn sign. You know, it's easy to go join a, another team with players. It's easy. Like we did it the hard way. And I'm looking at when he heard that, I'm like, bro, you won and you, you like you did it. You went, it, you did it. You also went, to, went up against the injured team, too. But at this point, injuries is just going to happen injured Brooklyn team at the time. But I'm all like, hold on, wait a minute. You, you had Drew Holiday, who at times, yes, was playing inconsistent, but he still Drew Holiday. Because we don't give that other excuse for other players. LeBron playing with this player, but if you look at how they played, that player didn't play like play like who his name is. But you had Drew Holiday, two-way player. Somebody giving you at least, what was he eighteen a game? Chris Middleton, who was the the guy who took the closing shots, the closer, if you want to call him, but for the people who use that word closer. And then you had yourself. You had an all star caliber player. Just the fact that he was in the um he was in the West for a lot of his career. That's why he never really made the Drew Holiday was never considered an all star because he was in the West and the West was loaded, especially at the two guard. Then you had. You know, Devin Booker was battling for a spot at that point because you had Clay, J- uh, James Harden, and somebody else. I forgot. Um, Chris Middleton, who was an All Star, who is an All Star, and then you're talking about some we didn't. Their names not are they, they're not their names aren't through the roof, but those are players. You didn't draft Drew Holiday. And that's the problem I have because now everybody talking about some, oh, it's easy to go join this. But it's easy to go do this. It's easy to go do that. Look what they're doing to Jalen Brown. Bro, just I'm going to say this again. If Jalen Brown, I'm not working with the Celtics. I'm not even going to. The fact that I understand it's a business, but if I decide to treat it like a business, I'm wrong for it. That's why you can't care what people think. LeBron just said that on the shop. You cannot care about what people think, bro, because I'm I'm on a team. That beat this guy. This is KD. Don't get me wrong, but we we swept his team when we weren't even favored to win that series. And now, y'all are even considering getting rid of me and two other players for him. The team that this team that that we worked so hard to jail to even get to the position to be contenders. Everybody want to talk about loyalty. The fact that his, I'm going to say it again, the fact that Jalen Brown's name, along with other players, but we're talking about Jalen Brown right now. The fact that Jalen Brown's name is even in that um, conversation for trade talks is dis- bro, is disrespectful on all accounts. The fa- he literally tweeted out. That's why he said, you think he said shaking my head because, be- because of anything. He said, no, shaking my head because we just beat this dude. We swept, not only beat him, we swept him. And now y'all talking about trading me in some uh, our core group that got us to this level for somebody who be swept? Y'all need to say, you got rid of your bench. The Warriors bench for KD. Your debt for KD. Maybe if the Warriors still had them players who they traded away for KD, when Curry broke his hand, they wouldn't have been as bad as they were. Maybe they would have been a little bit better. Playoffs, I don't know, but probably better than what they were. Then you're gonna do the same thing with Kep. You're gonna do the same thing with the Boston Celtics. You're gonna you're gonna get rid of your core guys, the guys that got you to this level. When Kyrie left, the guys that stepped up. Now, we're already pretty good when Kyrie was there, but the guys who stepped up even more, you going to get rid of them now? For Kevin Durant? Everybody, but, but, but then, if Jalen Brown were to say, I'm finna, hey, Brown, like, if he hit Brown up, like, Brown, y'all need a two guard? Hey, I'm trying to go join, like, I'm trying to go join this player, that player. If he had went to a team with a high caliber superstar, 
Then everybody been like, oh, look at him. He 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 doing the same thing. Oh, it's no loyalty in the NBA. It's no loyalty. Maybe Portland is maybe Portland is doing something for Dame. Maybe Portland has carried out what they said they're gonna do for Dame Look, they're never gonna get rid of him. Maybe that's why he's so high on I mean, I know why he's high on loyalty. I watched his little podcast with JJ Reddick. You know what I'm saying? I've like I, I know why he's big on loyalty, but maybe Portland has promised him something that that they have carried out or have been carrying out. Maybe there's something that we don't know about behind closed doors. I don't know because this Jalen Brown, like, if I'm Jalen Brown, I'm livid. The fact that y'all, I understand it's a business, but let it be a business when I try to make, when I say it's a business. Not that I'm not loyal or, or look at him, he chasing rings. Look at, like, man, the fact that my name, if I'm, the fact that my name is even in this conversation is disrespectful to me as a basketball player, as a man, everything. Cause it's like, did y'all, did y'all not see that the Warriors did the same thing? Granted, yeah, they won two championships, but then when he was out of there, they didn't have a bitch when Curry broke his hand. If y'all know the real Warrior friend, the real Warrior, like, it's like you traded away your core guys. For this, granted, you won two championships, but it's like you're gonna do the same thing with Boston. Lightning doesn't strike twice. <laughs> you're gonna mind you, you already got him and Jason Tatum play the same position. So, what, so what, you gonna put Katie to the four? Maybe. My thing is like, how is this even a comp Marcus Smart one defensive player of the year? You're about to trade like this is the business part. It's always been a business, but now you about to you about to trade away the core guy. I'm gonna keep saying it a million times. I don't care who has a problem. You are gonna trade away your core guys? For you're trading away your core guys that got you to this level when Kyrie Irving left for Kevin Durant. The fact that his name is even in that conversation for trade talks is disrespectful. I'm not even gonna lie. Is disrespectful on all accounts. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's, there's no nothing. There's no, oh, it's big. Like, I don't want to hear none of that, bro. It's disrespectful on all accounts. You can't, it's, bro, it's mind boggling. I'm baffled, flabbergasted. All of the, every word, all the negative superlatives that you could throw out there. I'm, 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 I'm if I'm Jalen Brown, I'm exactly those right now. It's just like, Y'all be so big on this loyalty stuff, but then when the player go out and do something for themselves, you got you got the nerve to try to tear them down, and then, and we got the nerve to even listen. Um, they got the nerve to even to listen to y'all because y'all want to talk all this, but then y'all gotta understand we just beat this dude, we swept him, but y'all want to trade. You want to trade us, the core guys that did this. Mind you, I'm not a slouch. I'm not averaging five points a game. I'm busy on the court. And y'all want to try. I had an issue with Marcus Smart. I just felt Marcus Smart shot the ball way too much. But put that to the side. This is a core guy. And Marcus Smart made a valid point the other day. He said, everybody's talking about me not being able to be a point guard for this team when no other point guard has got this team this far. That's, okay. That's tough. That's true, and it's tough at the same time. But everybody want to talk about this loyalty stuff, man. I, I'm going to be so honest. I, I, I can't see this. Like, if I'm Jalen Brown, I have a big problem with this. The fact, Even if it doesn't happen, I have a big problem with this. I'm like, I'm probably, I don't know how close him and Jason Tatum are, but I'm with Jason Tatum on the phone. Like, bro, do you see this, bro? Like, am I seeing this? I have a big problem with this, man. I ain't going to lie to you. If I'm Jalen Brown, I have a problem with this. If I'm Marcus Smart, I have a problem with this. If I'm, I don't know who the other dude was. I forget the other name, but if I'm them, I have a problem with this because because it's clear to me. Like I said in the last video, loyalty only works if it comes from both ways. The girlfriend can't be loyal. I mean, the girlfriend can be loyal, but if her boyfriend's not being loyal, her loyalty didn't really mean nothing. It means something, but it didn't. She has to move on and go find somebody who's loyal to her. And that's what this person has. To, that's exactly what Jalen Brown and them got to do. Because everybody don't talk about loyalty. Be loyal to who's loyal to you. That's banter. Y'all get me at the next video.